Welcome back to Ad Infinitum, everybody. This sh should be the final episode. Um, I checked to see how much uh, longer the game had, and it wasn't too much longer, so we're going to try to bust it all out in one episode. So the last episode uh, ended. Found a way out of the morgue. Okay. So we're actually back in the, uh, the, the trenches, so to speak. Um, the last episode ended with us finding out about our brother and everything that happened between him and our dad whenever our dad found out that he was gay. I believe that's that's kind of what it indicated to me. Um, at least it's what I took from it. So that's where we ended the last episode. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I would like that piece of paper, please. Eisenbarth. Pathetic. All 27 bodies of the brought were brought in all uh, All 27 of the bodies brought in were in what can only be described as a pathetic condition. Only one of the soldiers is still alive, and even he is a disgraceful sight. A sanatorium will restore all eligible patients to their physical and mental state required for war. Signed Dr. Eisenbarth. Okay. Let's see what's over here. This must be like the doctor's area. Eisenbarth inspection. Dear nurses, the way some of the fallen soldiers responded to this morning's inspection of their wounds is of great annoyance to me. The medical recovery process is part of their military duty. This embarrassment is childish and must be exercised from the patient. Signed, Dr. Wait. I mean, they're injured soldiers, my guy. Like, come on now. Man, it's very, very dark. Is there anything back here? can't see. <laughs> I don't want to go back there. Can we take this? Oh no. I mean, I want to see what's back there, but I can't. I can't see what's back there. I can't see what's over here either. Can I get through here? It's locked. I don't have any kind of light. Oh, we do. I forgot. Yes, we do. Okay. I forgot that we picked that up. Eh. Okay, so there's a door. Need a key. Okay, there's a phone around here somewhere. What's this? No entry. Well, we just exited, so. What? Okay. Turn the power back on. All right. Uh, here's another doctor's keys. Head nurse. Assign the patient's lockers according to their patient numbers. As soon as they are conscious, it shall be the patient's duty to remember these numbers. The patient files must be kept under lock and key at all times. They must not be allowed to fall into the patient's hands again. In addition, soldiers whose mental competence has been largely restored should be assigned simple tasks within the clinic. The patients in question must be provided with the keys for said tasks. The soldiers shall be responsible for any and all keys given to them. Signed, Dr. Eisenbarth. Okay, so that's probably going to give us, that's probably like a hint. It's an electric door. 
powers out. Uh, but that's probably going to give us a hint that we need to find the key to the door down that way. On a body, maybe? On a patient's body? Okay, we'll go in there in a second. I'm going to look around here, see what we can find, see if there's anything here anyway. All these lockers. Uh-huh. They're all going to have locks on them, aren't they? Oh, great. Tell me we're going to have to find all of those. That'll suck. So there were some over here too, I believe. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Okay, that's locked as well. Okay. Look like the only spot for us to go is through this door here. really don't like why are you ringing again why do you keep putting me in this loop okay I think that those are gonna be the three um, probably the three lockers that we're gonna need to unlock I would assume, so we're going to figure out their numbers. Maybe. Okay, nurse's note, note to self. Do not forget to lock the patient's files away in the office, doc, uh, in the office. Dr. Eisenbarth was furious with nurse Emma when she forgot the last time. Perhaps I should not have reported her. Emma has not been back to work since she was called into his office. She probably doesn't dare face the doctor again. Okay, yeah, this, it's kind of, you know, what I expected from this kind of person. He seems like a, just an ass, so... Head nurse's report. Dear Dr. Eisenbarth, I have taken care of the matter with Nurse Emma. Patient 27 gave me a hand. Junior Dr. Lau woke up yesterday. He is a strong young man. He has already asked for more prosthesis. Okay. 27. small key with a number engraved on it. 28? Yeah. Take that. I wonder what that's for. 28. Because those lockers had codes that you had to put in. So, Note from Junior Dr. Lau. That's the guy that she was just talking about before. Dear Emma, today Dr. Eisenbarth tried to force me to cut off a, sol cut off a soldier's healthy legs. I refused. Eisenbarth did the deed himself, glaring at me the whole time. He didn't even sterilize the surgical instruments. He has ordered me to report to his office later. The head nurse says we can talk it over and settle the matter. I hope she's right. Yeah, this guy's just, like, psychopath. Just a psychopath. He's probably doing experiments with him. Oh, here we go. That's four. Oh gosh. Oh, right here. Johannes von Schmidt, rank Unter Officer, Infantry Regiment number Ill eligible, battalion number. Company under command of Lieutenant von Schmidt. Note patient is the brother of Lieutenant von Schmidt. Lieutenant von Schmidt was not delivered to us. Symptoms infected wounds and burns all over body, left arm severed. Patient was the only one in his company delivered alive. Body and face disfigured by shrapnel and barbed wire. So, at the beginning, we were Johannes. And now we're, uh, where's brother? Maybe. Maybe. 
Diagnosis, perversion, cowardice. Despite coming from a noble line, the patient has hoped to avoid conscription. Injuries probably a result of attempted suicide. Reporters received of sexual perversion in the past. Reports. Recommendation due to the patient's heritage, a completely new course of treatment must be devised. This is of the utmost priority. Attempted suicide? I doubt that. With infected wounds and burns all over his body with our left arm severed? Yeah, I doubt that that was suicide. Unless he tried to blow himself up. Okay, let's go ahead and start at the top here because we're going to have to figure out um, uh, which one of these is the three people that they were talking, that dude was talking about on the phone. Fritz Henning. Here's this one. Patient number eight. Rank. Gif, Gif, Gifferter. Gifferter. Or, 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 or. Infantry regiment number, battalion number, all those are ill eligible. Company under command of Lieutenant von Schmidt. Symptoms dead body brought in with heavy blood loss. Left calf and arm ruptured by explosive shell. Initial treatment consisted of amputation at the thigh using the Perigov method. Patient revived after three days. Diagnosis male hysteria. Wait, what? The dead body body brought in with heavy blood loss. Patient revived after three days. In addition to the expected disorientation, patient made disrespectful remarks about our Kaiser. Crying fits, infantile mind, explains failure as a frontline soldier and lack of national pride. Recommendation, no improvement following electrical induction. Treatment, terminate treatment. Patient to be referred to hospice. Locker to be cleaned out. Okay, Otto Hilka. Rank Fedwebel. Feld Feldwebel. Feldwebel. Infantry, yeah, those are eligible. Company under command of Lieutenant von Schmidt. Symptoms, fractured skull. Diagnosis, Malin Melinger. Patient revived after two days. Despite one week of pain therapy, patient still complained of headaches. Draining of the cerebrospinal fluid and removed removal of the affected regions of the skull and brain led to immediate improvement. Recommendation. Now fit for battle following further adjustments. Send back to the front line immediately. Wow. They removed, obviously, the affected regions of the skull and brain and sent them back to the front line. That's crazy. Okay, Richard Michalski. Michalski. Rank Geoffrey III. Uh, those are eligible under command of Lieutenant von Schmidt. Symptoms, epilepsy, bedwetting. In spite of reanimation... Patient remains in a lethargic state. Displays a tendency towards neurotic trembling and bladder voiding disorder. Neurosis manifests as constant and hysterical shaking of the head and nervous twitching of the limbs. Diagnosis, male hysteria, cowardice. Recommendations, amputation of the arms and legs, complete dehydration. Will be fit for battle after further adjustments. What? Amputation of the arms and legs and complete dehydration for male hysteria and cowardice. Or for epilepsy and bedwetting this dude's a psychopath man all right richard rosala rank unter officer infantry regiment battalion number ill eligible under lieutenant von schmidt symptoms general neurological shocks patient complains of sleeplessness stomach problems and loss of hearing following days spent under fire from shells and death diagnosis malinger coward both the patient's feigned symptoms and his suicide on the Western Front are the result of cowardice. Some initial success achieved by applying sleep def and his suicide on the what? Achieved by applying sleep deprivation, acoustic trauma, and regular doses of vinegar in order to physically induce the symptoms the patient claimed to experience. Patient is compliant. Recommendations will be fit for battle following further adjustments. Wait, what? I don't understand this. Are they like reanimating these corpses? Is that what's going on? Because that's what I feel like is going on. Max Schmid. Gifferter. Illegible, eligible. Under Lieutenant von Schmidt. Mental deficiency. Uh, patient was buried under soil and rubble for several days, several days prior to death and has exhibited lethargic behavior ever since. Patient appears to be dull-witted. Remarks in file indicate that the soldier fell asleep several times while on night watch. Diagnosis, cowardice. Sleep deprivation and removal of the eyelids have not produced the desired result. Terminate treatment. Patient to be referred to hospice. Locker to be cleaned out. What? Removal of the eyelids. Jeez. Okay. Horst Weber. Head nurse. 
ordered me to sweep the floor in the maintenance room, grateful to be of service. My loo legs throb with pain and pride. The droning of the machines remind me, reminds me of the cannon that tore me away from the front. We're all comrades here. Everyone has fallen and yet risen again, just like me. Hope we can all experience our baptism in a fire together soon. P.S. I'm keeping the key to the maintenance room in my locker, number 82. The combination is my two best comrades. Okay. So we're going to need to get into 82. So it seems like, now obviously this is like, this isn't the real side of things, but in this reality, they're taking dead patients, reviving them and sending them back out and doing weird experiments to them. That's what I'm gaining from it. So Horst Weber. Okay, let's go back to the phone and see if he was part of that because Horst Weber um, is 82 and the combination is his two best comrades. So it's going to be Casper and Rudolph. So Rudolph, 15, Casper, 0715. Okay. Zero. Seven. One. Five. Nice. Maintenance room key. You found the key to the maintenance room. All right. Okay, so where's the maintenance room? I assume it's... Can I turn that on? No. Okay. I assume it's down to the left there. Did you guys hear that? Something just s screamed. I don't like it. What the hell? I don't want to. Danger high voltage. This is... This is creepy. <gasps> Gimme! Stuck tight. What is in there? What? I don't want to... What is going on? What am I supposed to do now? I don't like that noise. I, I actually, I actually hate it. How do I... How would I get that? What do I need to do? Oh, this is open. Okay. What the hell? What the hell? I just swear something just fell down there next to me. Oh boy. I really don't like this part. It's way too dark. Only being able to see for like short periods of time is just... making me nervous. I really don't want to do this. Because whenever I turn the power back on, that door down there is going to open up. And whatever's in there is going to come after me. And I really don't want to deal with that right now. Great. I knew it. I knew it! Whoa! 
What the? No. What? Why are things make, making noises now? All the power's back on. Well, that's good. That's grand. Okay. What, what's, our, what's our mission now? Find the exit. Great. We can't. I don't want to. Wire cutters. Use wire cutters to carve a path through barbed wire. Okay. Does that mean I can use them to get through here? Okay, but like, I, a part of me wants to go... Wants to go down in here and see what's down here, but I don't want to die or get scared. Okay, you're on the other side of that door. That's fine. Let's look around here real quick. I hear it. A scribbled note. Last night I heard Michalski and some others. There were strange screams. I think they were counting them. There was also marching. Peculiar. Clattering noises. Was it all a dream? H.W. Oh, you're strapped to a chair. You're fine. Let's go. Okay, well, it, it... Turn the power... The power is back on. What the... Okay, game. Now you're just playing tricks on me. Eisenbarth security doors to ensure the safety of our medical staff as of today our doors will be secured using an electrical system the fuse boxes in the maintenance room control access to the main hall from the administration and shower areas okay What just happened? Why can't I cut that? Screw you, I'll go under. I don't really understand that, but okay. Maybe because it's moving? I don't know. Okay, so I can go up and over that. Wait, ooh. Go there in a second. I want to look around. Oh, something right here. Patient's note one. Gefriter Michalski is gone. I spoke with him before I went to sleep. He was as scared as I am. He was laying on the bed next to me. Now he is gone. The nurse refuses to answer my questions. They will not even look me in the eyes. In the eye. HW. She has one eye. Okay. What is that? Looking at the egg makes the bile rise in your stomach. 
power's out. You wonder if you should follow these cables. Well then, I assume we're supposed to follow the cables. Dude, this place is massive. Oh, great. So the yellow one goes into there. But we need the red one. Ooga booga. Well, I was just following the red cable and ran into this. This is fun. It's in there. Can I turn that off? No. Red, that's usually a bad sign. No. Oh, gosh. Don't do it. 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 Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Nope. Close, please. Close. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> pain head nurse amputations must always be performed without anesthesia should one of your nurses or a junior doctor contradict this order again this is to be reported to me immediately every ounce of pain caused by the incisions of the scalpel and the saw is equivalent to the purifying fire of war from which our patients have fled through death and injury these are the birth pains of the frontline soldier. This dude's a psychopath. supposed to get around him hates the light but I mean does this constitute as light I assume supposed to go. I'm just going to follow this stuff. Are there multiple? Why can't I cut these? Why? <gasps> This constitute is light. Please tell me. I don't think it does. It doesn't. But I can't do anything right here. Well, 
Whatever. Just run through it, it's fine. Can I close this? I cannot. Okay, but we're in the light. Should be okay, right? Okay. I'm gonna turn the power back on. Is this where we need to be? Oh, this is. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Get wrecked. Oh, gosh! I was a bit late for the jump scare. Let's take a look at you real quick. You got some, uh... Like a Ken doll. Interesting. Okay. That's horrifying. Anything over here? Any notes for us to read? So I guess we'll just follow this. Wait, that's taking us back around in a circle. What? Oh, come on. Jack wagon. <clears throat> Ouch. I have no clue where I'm supposed to be going. Like, at all. Can you not get on the other side of that? Oh, don't. Okay. Ah. This is garbage. I'm kind of stuck. Let's go back this way. Let's go down here. Okay. Um. Okay, so I know where we're at now. I know where we're at now. Okay. So we'll be okay and safe down here. Gross. Oh, nice. Great. Don't you do it? Don't you do it? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, well, that, that, okay. Well, I shouldn't have laughed at your demise, but, you know, you kind of caused everything to set on fire. Mm -hmm. Great. Cool. I guess we don't really have to worry about, uh, the rest of those guys then, right? Right? Cool. How do we get out of here? Oh, over across here. Okay, cool. Okay. <coughs> Where this? Will that help? We need to stop coughing. No. Man, there was a lot of those guys. Excuse me? What? What kind of garbage is that, bro? So we're back out in the trenches. Of course, there's a phone here waiting for us. Did you hear me, soldier? Thank God. In the back. Where have you been? Did you hear the screams? The enemy has broken into our trenches once more. Meet me in the command, soldier. It's up to us now. There's no one else left. Okay. You gonna shoot me again? Hmm? You jerk. Sick bay.
Have we been here before? I really can't remember. Widenbox report. Dear Surgeon General, I am writing to lodge an official complaint regarding the new comp company Fuhrer, Lieutenant von Schmidt. Despite my uh, protest protestations, he insists upon referring to me as Dr. Eisenbarth. After that deplorable drinking song, he has even had Unterofficer Eigert and Unterofficer Frum paint the name on a sign in front of my office. Our men are dying by the dozen, their lungs ravaged by poison gas. Typhoid, ty typhoid is also widespread. And on top of all of this, I now have to deal with a buffoon of Lieutenant telling his men I can magically restore the dead to life. In light of the lieutenant's lack of experience, I have attempted to remain tolerant of his shenanigans. However, even I have my limits. With respect, Dr. Weidenbach, September 8th, 1917. So, that kind of makes more sense about the letters from before, but it doesn't explain why all of the reports of the people in that filing cabinet were saying that they were dead and he brought them back to life and were cutting off their eyelids and... All that ridiculous stuff. So, yeah. Oh, what's this? Some more dog tag. Klaus. Okay. Newman's death. Confidential. Read. Death of... I don't know how to pronounce that word. Newman. Dear Dr. Weidenbach, I had the misfortune of watching while Unterofficers Eigert and Fromm pushed Gefriter Newman out into no man's land wearing nothing but his boots. He was shot. After I managed to pull his body back into the trench, the two hunter officers started haggling over his boots and possessions. Would it be wise to report this to the lieutenant? Respectfully, Feldwebel Hilke. That's just rude. He just threw him out in a no man's land in his just his boots. Obviously, that's what's up, man. How you doing? Dummy has nothing but contempt for you. <laughs> okay. Well, that's his issue, not mine. We are so weak we can hardly stand. If German pride will not permit us to surrender, then we shall die. I suppose we may as well go to hell. At least we won't drag the rest of the world down with us. So that was Johannes? Okay. Albert Eck. Okay. Poem, part one. Alone in the woods, a red flower blooms. Soon, all too soon, I shall meet my doom. Soon, all too soon. A lump of lead somewhere will take my sorrow. Be it today, or be it tomorrow. The rest is missing. That's a nice little poem there. Casper. Okay. This is like their little chapel where they would have the funerals. I mean, in World War One, in the trenches, that would just be non-stop. This is where that's where we came out of. Okay, cool. Yep. Just had to do a quick look see. Why and how? Okay, I understand it now. You have to do the one that's not moving first, and then move on. Yeah, then then another one stops. Then yeah, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Path of the lion. But where do I? You're sure you can get the machine running again if you can just find some fuel, okay? Steel monstrosity has a hose connected to it. Okay, well let's follow the hose, I guess. This. During my rounds this morning, I saw someone creeping through the trenches. It was Dr. Weidenbach. He had a rucksack with him, and he was as pale as a corpse. He said I needed to talk to my brother, today. I don't know who told the doctor. But Supreme Army Command is going to give the order to storm the French trenches. Operation Morgengrauen. They know success is impossible.
but to them, we shall be but a few more lines in the list of losses. I haven't seen the Doctor again since. Perhaps the best course of action would be to run away. But I cannot leave without my brother. 12th of September, 1917. So I wonder if he was actually planning on running away after those orders were given. I don't know. We'll free you there, little buddy. Just don't attack me. Oh, no. I tried, man. I tried. I really did. Why? What is that noise? Oh, it's that! Yeah, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. So many dead birds. So whatever that was crawled under that way, it's good. It can stay under there. <laughs> Hamburg Avenue, Path of the Lion, okay. So I, we're just following this hose for now. I don't really know what, what we're supposed to be doing with it. But hopefully we'll figure it out. Mine of the hole, giggity. The tunnel is flooded. You can't get through. There must be a water pump around here somewhere. Yeah, that's literally... Um, cranks jammed. The pulley won't budge. Of course not. So that thing back there that we need fuel for is the water pump to pump out the water from that hole. So now we know. Okay, we got to get back to that water pump and then go the other way now. Okay, so we came from down that way. So we could go up here, maybe... No, we can't. Okay. So the only other way to go is through here. Okay. I assume we'll find some fuel over here somewhere. Probably in that truck. Makes the most sense. Or maybe not. Tank is empty. You can't get anything out of it. Okay. Well, maybe I was right in the first place. The tank seems to be full of diesel oil. Now all you need is an oil can. Okay. So we found where we can get it from. Just need to find the can itself. Tank is empty. It's going to be in the back of this, isn't it? Ow. Ow. It's empty, but still smells of diesel oil. Dibs. Stamped bill of delivery. Current inventory. 14 barrels, capacity 216 liters each. Delivered today, 3 barrels, capacity 216 liters each. Cool. Do you want to look over here real quick? Nothing. Okay. Let's get this filled up and go and get that water pumped out of that hole. There we go. Just peeing into the generator. Nothing to see here. Okay. Alright, sounds like it's working. Did it empty? It do. It do be empty. Whoa. Okay. Alright, well, I just teleported us down. <laughs> All right. Sounds good, I guess. Ugh. I don't like this. Man, 
I hear bad guys. I don't want to have any part of it. Emil. Okay, let's read this. The flooded shaft. Lieutenant von Schmidt has ordered us to clear the water out of the old shaft using the pump. It's nonsense, of course. It'll fill up again straight away as soon as it rains again. Eck found the remains of a French uniform in the mud. They must have died down there before the godforsaken patch of land fell into our hands. If the lieutenant kept us slogging away like this with hardly anything to eat, it won't be long before the mud takes us to... K. Litched. Okay. I really don't want to have any part of these, uh, whatever's making these noises. I want none of it. It's going to be above us, isn't it? It's going to drop down and chase us. Maybe. The heck was that? Okay, yeah, they're just more of those stupid things. Man, I don't want to. Can I go up and over this? No, I cannot. It's so difficult to see in these spots. Like, whenever it's dark, it's dark. It's dark. I wonder if I could like lead it into the light so it gets stuck permanently. Wait, 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 wait. This is a dead end. Oh, come on. Ligma. Just go, let's go, let's go. Ah! Oh. oh. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, I hope that was it. Of those guys. Oh, good. Okay. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I don't trust that. Oh, you're just walking away. Okay, so he died. Camille. Food theft. Kazik, Iwerk, and I are fed up of these bare bones rations. The lieutenant's pets get anything they want. We're going to sneak in and grab what we've earned. Schnapps, brandy, tobacco. We'll stash our loot in the old shaft. No one dares go down there. We're not scared of anything anymore. Not the lieutenant and not the shaft. It'll all be over soon anyway. LL. Why would you write a note about that? Hmm? Why? You're just like leaving evidence to what you did, gas bird. Um, yeah. Kind of dumb if you ask me. Oh, am I supposed to go around this? I think so. Yeah. Yosef. Okay. East. Okay. 
Did this take us back up into um the base area place thingy? I think it did. Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. Where's Mr. Man at? I need to speak with you, sir. What's this? Anton. Yes, sir. Yavor. If only we had more like him. Absolute air commandant. Yes, he's officer material, all right. The perfect fit for my flight squadron. You can count on me, sir. Yavole, commandant. Ah, there you are, soldier. I knew I could count on you. You've put a stop to that fiendish saboteur. Our weapons production is up and running again. At ease, soldier. Your reliability and ambition are exemplary. I managed to get through to Supreme Army Command. However, I'm afraid I have some bad news. We are on our own out here. Deserters and traitors back home are trying to drive a dagger into our backs. They want to force the Kaiser and the Supreme Army Command to surrender. Cowards. They have no idea what things are like out here on the front. We are being overrun. Perhaps they are even responsible for these freaks of nature that plague our trenches. They want to hold us back. This new enemy, it even has aerial capability now, attacking from the sky. It hates the light. I managed to blind it with our searchlights. But then its scream short-circuited everything. The fuses, the wires, all burnt out. Okay. Thanks for telling me. Appreciate it. Um, where'd you go though? This enemy knows no mercy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will not stop at our borders. If we lay down arms, it will ravage the whole fatherland. The Veltenbrand will be upon us and the world will burn. Everything we fought for will be lost. The Kaiser and Supreme Ow. Command are aware of our efforts. They're counting on us. There's some technical equipment in my plane. Fuses, among other things. Out there in no man's land. Soldier, attention! You will fight your way through to the crash plane in the west. Secure the equipment. The fuse for the searchlight. Then we can blind this monstrosity. I'll cover you from up there. I see things so much clearer now. I'll keep an eye on you. And then... Then... We will be the cleansing fire. We will wipe the enemy off the face of the earth. And earn our way back home. No faltering. No hesitation. For freedom! And the fatherland! Dismissed, soldier. Yes. He's going to keep an eye on us. With this blindfold on. Definitely trust it. Okay. Order, standby, radio operator on duty, under officer Johannes von Schmidt, date September 10th, 1917. Attention, strictly confidential orders for the duty officer. <laughs> duty officer. Uh, the pressure on our rooftops and our homeland is growing. We must absorb the pressure and return it tenfold. The slightest hesitation could cost us our victory. Stand by for further orders, Supreme Army Command. do here oh key key to the path of the hero okay your table you are back okay so we are Paul right oh we can finally get in here Orders. Searchlight. Radio oper operator on duty. Unter officer Johannes von Schmidt. Attention. Strictly confidential orders for the duty officer. 
Effective immediately, the all anti-aircraft searchlights are now connected to the electrical system. This is highly sensitive military equipment. A reliable power supply must be established for the use of the system. This is a matter of the utmost urgency. All sections of the field through which the power supply runs must be protected against access and sabotage and sabotage by the enemy. Okay, well. Your direct line to Supreme Army Command. Your telegraph. There are 27 men waiting on your orders. Okay. Okay, so we gotta find the what the path of the hero. That's it. Okay, cool. Now there's actually going to be enemies. Okay, so there's a ladder here. Oh, we're going back up into the... Wait. Yeah, I was going to say this looks familiar. Last time we came in from over that way, I believe. Oh, that's the box. Yeah, the box is. I... There we go. I can't. There we go. Soldier! Come on! Throw me the fuse! Here! After it! Get that hellish monstrosity! I'll repair the searchlights! Then we can finish the job! Don't tell me you're getting tired now! Go! 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 Okay, well, I guess we got to go and kill this monster after we get uh, unstuck from the water. Um, yep, yep. There we go. All right, I just had to turn around. All right, let's go. Okay. Twenty-seven. Can't go down that way. Okay. Okay, he's getting all of these, all of the searchlights turned on. Um. That's right, boy. You sit down. What? Oh, 
Okay. Well, we tried. We did our best to kill the beast, and don't think it don't think it worked. But that's okay. Okay, so what do we need to do now? Um, find a way through the darkness. <laughs> I don't wanna. That's not the one I selected. I'm really doing my best, man. Hello. Apparently, still walk into the stuff that's on the floor. What the hell is this place? I don't like this at all. Watch out for the pigeons. Oh, wait. Where are the pigeons? How, how can I see them? I assume that if they not they they attack you and you fail that, they knock you off into the pit. I fell into the pit. Oh, that would suck. What is this? I don't want to go. I must. No. I want to. Don't you understand? For our freedom. If only Paul were old enough, he'll make a real soldier. Newspaper. The war began with the mobilization. They let Johannes sign up straight away to head to the Western Front and become a hero, but you had to stay home. Why didn't you go to war first? Why was it him? What? I didn't... I don't... Uh, what? Okay. So I gotta watch out for these pigeons. Oh. Maybe the nests? So many feathers floating around. It's also just like a lot of um, things from the stuff that we've read, like the pigeons watching the watching the birds from the attic uh, from when we were younger, and like the paintings, and it's like connecting everything. So I'm still just I feel like this is either some kind of like PTSD or Possibly, uh, um, like a purgatory. Okay, so I see what we're doing now. We're getting to all the searchlights. Okay. I understand. What did you expect? You think rank is everything? They need to 
show you respect. Boots, finally your chance to show everyone what you're made of. You're a lieutenant, commanding a company on the Western Front. They laughed at you. Why not at him? Of course, now the further that we're getting, the more I'm thinking that we are Johannes and not Paul. I feel like we're going back and forth. Like it, it just feels kind of confusing. That's not my son. Do you hear me? That's not him. What's happening here? Nest, was Mother right? Did Coco sneak into your home while you were away? He doesn't speak. He just stares. Does he remember? So the cuckoo are the birds that will what lay their egg in a different bird's nest. And that little bird will basically eat all the food and s push the other birds out of the nest. Um, so it, so only it can survive, basically. But on the, the cucko, like what? I don't really know, get the correlation between that and us, like. Did I miss something? Like, somebody... I mean, I guess, like, you know, she wished for Johannes to come back. But obviously... Whatever came back wasn't really him, so that might be the correlation there. Um, I think we might have to actually slide down that. Yeah. Okay. You're not my son. I want my son. <laughs> or probably because even if he did come back, even if it wasn't all the crazy, like, bringing them back to life from the dead and disfiguring them and, you know, all that stuff. Just coming back from war, like, just being in war is going to change somebody. So that's probably what it's referring to as far as the cuckoo or cuckoo or whatever you want to, however you want to call it, however you want to say it. That's probably what it's referring to, but maybe we'll see. Scissors. Whatever the creature in the attic is. It deserves to suffer. But what if? What if what? Seven. Whoops. Forgot to put those back on. Can't see where I'm going. There we go. So he 
just keep going down and... Oh, great. Didn't even see that there. Okay. Whew. There are not very many of the pigeons, so <laughs> it's... I kind of forget about them every now and then. Eh. Okay. Oh, okay. We just got to a door. Oh, great. Don't tell me there's gonna be more of those people here. I don't want to. I don't want them. I don't want them. Oh, there's a. Oh, this is our dad's wheelchair. What have they done to you? Or is it our wheelchair? No, it can't be him. You left him behind. That can't be him. What if it is him? Okay. So, like, what if it's Johannes? I'm try. I'm, I'm really. I'm, I'm really trying to understand. I really am. But I'm dumb. So I've probably got all of this all wrong. My son is dead. He's dead. Why didn't you listen to him? So is this supposed to be Johannes like stuck in the barbed wire? Is that what it's supposed to represent right there? Brother. He was as good as dead. You took one look at him among all that wire and ran. He can't have come back, can he? He fell. He hit the ground. Did he see you? Okay, well, where'd that come down at for us? Apparently those would uh, push me off, the pigeons. Wait a second. Oh, oh, okay. What the hell is that? I don't think it's supposed to be making that noise, but uh, okay. Scared the bejesus out of me, though. Holy crap. Oh. Well, this is different. There's a painting here. That's supposed to be us. Mom, Dad. Paul and Johannes. Maybe Dad, Mom, Johannes, Paul? Mom looks horrified. Underneath all the pain, we're comrades. 
Brothers. Always. Brothers. Let's him finish it. My children. <sighs> My sons. Forgiveness will be yours. If you grant him his freedom. How do I grant him his freedom? Okay, so I think we gotta go here. Maybe? I really don't know. Um, because that's where we came from. We went up, went up the stairs there to the painting. But, I guess let's try it. There's feathers, so it should be a nice fall. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Pain. Born of darkness and night. Made flesh. Desecrated. Defeated. Undying. We live on in eternal plight. Hmm. So it looks like there's just one path forward to get through all of this, which is good because I'd be lost. Can't really see. There's that. That one. We we'll get our hand covered in pigeon poopy. Okay. We get through here? Yeah. What's oh, down this way? Nothing. Okay. Go down over here. That's what it is. It's the birds flying into the into the barbed wire. Oh gosh, that's so much worse. I thought it was just like a glitch, possibly, but no. No, it's just a million little birdies flying into barbed wire and exploding. Great. You're welcome. You're welcome. You are almost there. I know you can do it. Trap the abomination and wring its neck. There's not a moment to lose. For the fatherland, soldier. To trap the abomination. Okay. Johannes says cages are bad. Birds love to be free. Yeah. Well, this bird, if it's the one that we had to fight a little bit ago, tried to murder us. Like, look at this. <laughs> so bad. I'm going to look over here real quick. Okay, there's this. Don't know what this is for, but you know, we might as well do it. Oh. Okay. But what's this right here? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Must just be there to kind of fake us out. Okay. Took forever to get up here. In this area, your actions will have consequences. Okay. Can I not cut these? No. Okay.
did he just take our flashlight? Okay. Let me alone. Miss me. How am I supposed to see it? Okay. Oh, we didn't take my flashlight. Okay, okay. It took something of ours. I don't know what we just did, but... I hope this is the right way. You... nope. Haha! -ha. Okay, we're kind of bloodied. That's not good. Is that what we were supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Is that wrong? Oh man, I done screwed the pooch. That one over there is busted. That's not good. Can I, can I still do this one? Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Okay, but... What am I supposed to do, though? Am I supposed to use these to attack it? Okay, so we captured the bird, or set the bird free, one of the two, I didn't, uh, Fragment of mirror, for a second, you thought you could see yourself in the sparkling glass. Okay, so usually whenever we come through this spot, once we take what, what's ever on the, the table, it takes us to another area. Okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You remember, almost no words were needed. You were brothers again. That's the traitor, though, right? To die for the fatherland is your duty. Corruption. Corruption. You, you descend, descend like, like an easterly wind. No way. That's our... Did we kill our dad? An old cripple. By ending him, you have wiped out weakness and corruption. What? No way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yay. 
the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. My dear Paul, I wanted to die for what I did to your brother. The Holy Virgin Mary has returned you to us too. I want to live now, for the two of you. Okay. So our mom wants to live now for both of us because we're both alive, but that's what it meant whenever your actions have consequences. So by I so I assume that the different ways of doing that. Okay, before we get to this mirror, so the first one that we that we went through with the uh like the water we had to run back and forth. You could have gone green or red, and so I assume that was the mom. So we got the good with her. Now the the one who in the big warehouse, the sabotage, the saboteur, we killed that thing. So that was our dad. And then the last one it looks like we set free in the bird, that would be Johannes, I assume. So we'll see. We will see. <laughs> you still don't understand, do you? There's no such thing as a hard victory. Not for us. Oh, great. Okay. I, I thought I thought that was the end. I thought it was going to explain stuff to us, and we... <laughs> he shows up and shoots us. That's not good. Tin Soldier, he seems to be looking out for you, just like he always used to. Metal Dog Tag, congratulations. You may go to war once again, Lieutenant. Full of pride. You read the engraving on your dog tag. Paul von Schmidt... I knew we were Paul. Okay. It's visiting time. Oh, thank you. Who's there? Oh, no. Okay. I have so many questions. <laughs> it was a good game. However, it leaves a lot to like the imagination. Obviously we were Paul. We find that out at the end. We're stuck in a mental institution, basically. We're just going crazy. So was that all just in our minds? Was that all just us trying to cope with our past through by what we were seeing like the bird being our brother johannes the the woman uh, creature being our mom and then the the saboteur being our dad so it makes me feel like paul was on his brother's side with everything that went on with him with Johannes and, and our dad, maybe like the pr protecting him and our actions in each of those sequences. So we saved our mom. So she was going crazy. And by the actions that we took, she's glad that we're home because there for a little bit, it made it 
feel like she just wanted Johannes there and not us. And then the dad, it's almost like we got revenge for our brother for being such an ass to him whenever he was younger. Then Johannes, him being free from either his war scars or maybe his past or something. I really don't know. That one's the one that's most confusing with me. The dad and the mom are un more understandable because there's not like a lot of information on them. But the brother, because it just, there's so much there. I would, I'm going to need to watch something or see if somebody can explain it better. But like, ugh. but it was still good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys for sticking with me through this series. We'll see what we're playing next. Uh, I've got a couple games lined up, um, but I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown on this series. Thank you guys again. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.